Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Clark. We're doing long division. We're using the standard algorithm. So the standard algorithm has four steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And since we can't see them down here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this other one right underneath there. So the way that I remember the steps is D, M, S, B, or does McDonald's subtract, or does, yeah, does McDonald's subtract burgers? That would be odd. I remember it as does McDonald's sell burgers. And it usually makes me hungry. We're going to do this question, 76 divided by four. So you can follow along if you have these worksheets or click on the link and get them, but you can also just grab a piece of paper and follow along with me and you'll get a lot of really good practice in. The first step is to divide. And we're starting with the seven on going left to right. And we're using that four always because that's the thing we're dividing it into. So um, seven divided by four, or and the better way to think of it is how many times can four go into seven? So if I have seven, how many groups of four can I make? Well, I can only make one group of four. So four goes into seven one time. Now we're gonna multiply it and we're gonna use the last thing we touched, which is this one, and we're gonna multiply it back with the four. One times four is four. Now we're gonna subtract to get those leftovers. So the last thing we touched was this four. We're gonna do seven minus four, which is three. The next step is to bring down, and we have this other digit waiting for us. So we're gonna bring down the six. And now we're ready to start again. So we divide again, but this time what are we dividing? Well, what's the last thing you touched? What number do you have there to work with? This, but also this, it's 36. And what are you dividing by? The four, it's always the four. So we're gonna do 36 divided by four. Lots of ways to do this. Use whatever division strategy you like to use. You can use a times table. You can skip count your fours to get to 36. You can draw 36 tally marks and see how many groups of four you can get. Any way you do it, you're just trying to figure out what 36 divided by four is and put it in that box there. Here are a couple of the strategies I was talking about. So you could draw 36 and make groups of four and we got nine groups. You could use your multiplication skills. I know that four times nine is 36, therefore 36 divided by four is nine. My favorite way is to skip count because it's gonna be really easy later on. So if you skip count your fours and you hit 36, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 36 divided by four is nine. So that was our division. We put it up there. All right, let's keep going. Next step is to multiply. So last thing we wrote, which is the nine, and using that four, so multiply it back. Nine times four is 36. And then we're gonna subtract just to see if there's anything left over. 36 minus 36 is zero. So there's nothing left to bring down and there's nothing left over, so we know that we're finished. If you wanted to double check this, you would do four times 19 and you would get 76. Okay, so what this means is let's say you had like 76 donuts and you wanted to put them into four boxes. If you drew, you know, 76 tick marks and you wanted to put you know, them into four groups, it would divide up evenly. There would be 19 in each box or group. All right, so let's do a quick recap. We did seven divided by four, which is one. Multiply one times four is four. Subtract seven minus three is three, bring down the six, start over. 36 divided by four is nine. Nine times four is 36, subtract, nothing left over, nothing left to bring down. So keep watching this playlist if you want to get more practice, it's going to become way easier as you go on. You can use a piece of paper and just follow along, but if you wanna get the digital copy or the worksheets, click on the description below. Thank you for helping and I hope this was, or thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful for you.